All right, well, the eyes of the rugby league world are focused firmly on Las Vegas this weekend with the season kicking off tomorrow night in Bright Light City. Timmy, all 17 teams are full of promise at this stage of the year. Oh, yeah, well, they're all on top of the comp at this stage of the year. Parramatta supporters, it's been a long time between drinks. 1986 was their last premiership win. A man that was up front and centre through those glory years, four comps in six years, was Peter Wynn. He also loves his racing, and I spent a couple of minutes with Wally Wynn. I think I like about the races, the horses are a magnificent animal, you know, what they do on the, on the track is, is quite remarkable, the preparation, the hard work that's involved in getting the, you know, to race in the first place and the, to see them come down the straight, such a magnificent animal in flight. I think the Golden Slipper, awesome there at Rose Hill, you know, I've been there a number of times, had some good days and some bad days, but getting back to Ridges after is a whole lot as well. I think probably 1978, I went to the Doncaster for the first time. My father rang me up and said, make sure you're back maybe in Mahal. And sure enough, I got up. Back in those days, there used to be a tipping competition to support the Junior Rugby League in Werris Creek. So you a whole day of racing for the Saturday at Randwick, three, two and one for the events. And I, I said, Dad, can I have a go at this? Had a go. And he came out that night. He said, Pete, you've got the Daily Double, Regal Rhythm and some other horse. I said, can I have a go? But next week is yeah. So the following week, I had a go. I didn't get a three, a two or a one in any race, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I think there have been so many over the years, probably back in my day, the late 70s, early 80s, Kingston Town, you know, with Malcolm Johnson on it, you know, they did commercials about that horse, what a horse, one from every distance. I had a horse trained by Alan Denham called I'm a Freak and it got up 100 to 1 at Rose Hill, what a day, awesome. Well, it was a celebration all around, just, you know, didn't do much in the race leading up to it. Come out that day and everything just come together. There was a horse from Melbourne come up called Great Condor. I think we beat it by about head, but Corey Brown rode the winner and I'm still paying him off. Stock almost cleaned me out the day after the races. <laughs> Back in the day, it was always Jack and Alan Denham. Loved them to death, you know, Pumper Cassidy. But I think this these days is probably uh, James McDonald and Chrissy Waller. I know I'm each way all day. I like to get something back for my money or hope to get something in the first three place getting, so each way all day. Tim, I follow the rugby league. Every weekend I try to use my brain to pick the eight winners so I'm all up every Saturday or Sunday for the for the rugby league. And away we go.